יברכך אדוני וישמרך. יאר אדוני פניו אליך ויחונקה. יישא אדוני פניו אליך וישם לך שלום. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Today, as global unrest increases and we see and hear of enhanced activity by the enemies of peace, there is an urgent need to get together in unity, to worship, pray and take communion. So thank you for joining us. At the end of this video, we will take communion together. So please gather your elements now. We serve one who is far greater and more powerful. So let's stand together in faith today that we will be changing the spiritual atmosphere across the nations. 1 John 4 verse 4 encourages us, But you belong to God, my dear children. You have already won a victory over those people because the spirit who lives in you is greater than the spirit who lives in the world. The early church we read about in Acts was a bold church led by apostles. It was not a passive church which became so culturally entrapped and blinded that its ability to impact and transform society was hindered. No, it was not. And we also can hinder the plans of the enemy by boldly declaring and establishing the gospel of Jesus Christ and praying in unity for transformation and peace in this world and mostly for God's will to be done. How can we be so confident? Because our God is described in Micah 2 verse 13 as The breaker who goes up before them, they break out, pass through the gate and go out by it. So their king goes on before them and the Lord at their head. Our God is one who shakes up, moves out, and changes individuals and groups. Our God is one who can change a nation, leading the Church of Jesus Christ out of a captive state and into an advancing, invading force. Our God is the same God who led Israel out of Egypt and into the Promised Land. Let's now look to King David, who is a model leader for this time in history. Nothing stopped David. He overcame the last enemies of God in Canaan. He was a bold apostolic leader. He advanced because God told him to do so. The breaker was going before him to break open the way. If Satan has legions of demons, God has an army of redeemers. And here we are together, not so much as church people, but more as a society of redeemers. For that is what we become as we are conformed to the heart of Jesus Christ. Now, let's worship to this powerful song, You Are Holy, recorded at the Tower of David in Jerusalem. As for me 
Now, as we hold the communion elements, let's pray. Yeshua HaMashiach, our Lord Jesus Christ, King of Israel, 
whose name is exalted above every name, every name in heaven, on earth and under the earth. We remember the sacrifice you made on the cross to redeem mankind. We thank you, Lord, that you have redeemed us, and that is why we can come together and pray. We remember your death until you come. Lord, we love Jerusalem and Israel and want to bless that nation with our prayers and our partaking of communion. Lord, we pray for the evil state of the current world and our hearts weep for our nations and in particular Israel, who are the centre of the world. Your name is higher than every principality and every entity of evil and one day they will bow to you and confess you are Lord. How we look forward to that day. But in the meantime, Father, Lord of Heaven's armies, we ask you to release extra angelic hosts over Jerusalem to fight on Jerusalem and Israel's behalf and on behalf of Australia and all the nations of the earth. Thank you, Yeshua, for turning every evil intent to curse Israel into your blessing and for releasing your presence and blessing throughout the earth. Thank you for holding back the plans of the enemy until the time is right in your will. We pray that you would advance your kingdom order and your kingdom purposes over Jerusalem, Israel and to the ends of the earth. We declare today that you are our Father, the only true God. You are King of kings and Lord of lords. We declare, Lord Jesus, that you are our Lord and the light of the world. As we partake of the bread representing your body broken for us and the cup representing your blood shed for us, we bless Israel and we remember and thank you, Lord, that you died and rose again and we look forward to your returning in glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. Please partake of the communion in your own time and thank you so much for joining with us in this very important moment. Yeah, yeah. 
Thank <laughs> you. 